Hello, good afternoon, welcome back. I'm Claire, this is Purple Poppy, <clears throat> and today is day two of our four days of page prompts. And today we are looking at using a safety pin, a doily, mixed colour, so no particular colour, just whatever colour you like, and botanical. So, as yesterday, I have first of all got a, I would say coffee dyed paper, but this was obviously rose water dyed because it's actually got rose petals on it still. So I'm just pull those off. So this is rose petal dyed, water, uh, dyed paper. Um, if you want to have a go at that, all I tend to do is boil the dried water petals for a little while. You can tell when it's done because the rose petals take on a sort of brown, browny beige colour. Let's leave it up there in case you want to make a note of that. A browny beige colour and the water goes a very deep sort of burgundy. And then obviously you can use that the same way you would use your coffee dyed paper. Now, I didn't bring a safety pin, which was very, very silly of me, wasn't it? Having said safety pin was on the list. Oh, bum, bum, bum. Anyway, um, what I have bought is, I bought this blue and white spotted fabric. I've bought two random sizes of this blue and white floral paper. I have this page from a floral book and these are pinks or carnations but I thought that green was almost more blue. I've bought some pink dyed cotton um, because of the pink in the flowers. I've got a paper doily and a crochet doily because I'm not quite sure yet. I've got a large clock face, a small clock face, and two tickets. So that's what I'm thinking I'm going to be using today. I've obviously also got scissors, glue, I've got my distress ink and my blending brush, but I don't have a safety pin, so I'll have to think about how I'm going to deal with that without running off and leaving you. But anyway... So, my first thought is that I probably want my fabric doily with my paper doily with my clock. So I've got like three layers there and I would probably put that towards the bottom because I want the fabric doily to overhang the side and the bottom so that when I use the page in a journal it's interesting. You will also note that today instead of working on the front of the page I'm working on the back. It's basically just to make sure that when I put my journal together I have interest on the right page, uh, sorry on the left page but also on the right page yeah. I know what I mean. So <clears throat> that's what I think first of all there. I think maybe this will come underneath sort of there. I don't know whether I want to use this blue strip sort of there to re-enhance as it were the floral element or whether I want to use this blue fabric or indeed if I want to use both so I'm just gonna this is just a fat quarter um, from my stash left over from my patchworking days so I'm just gonna cut a strip about an inch and then obviously tear that off having put a score line in it. 
I'm just wondering if I want to put that underneath and then that blue one on top so we're getting a really multifaceted page or if that now looks a little bit too busy I'm just going to study that for a minute and make make a decision yeah I think this blue is too far away from them stems whereas I think the fabric blue might be closer so let's you see I think that is going to sit much nicer on that blue that blue is a little bit milder than this one so yeah I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag my fabric down and I'm going to snip it just shy of the page length I'm going to tear that off to size love all the strands that you get it's another reason it's always best in my opinion to use um, cottons or linens if you can they're what tear just about the best and I'm thinking that that needs to go about there so that it sits under the edge of my doily I wonder if the smaller clock face might sit better there. I'm not quite sure. And then that one needs to go on top like so. And then I wonder if this pink cotton would, um, sorry, slamming my scissors down, um, if this cotton would sit nicely, it's much narrower than that one, but will that sit nicely and pick up the pink? I'm not so sure that it does, you know. No, I don't like that pink. Not as a strip. We could maybe get a little fabric bow out of it. This tiny little bow here, just to sort of see how it looks and how I feel about that. And maybe we could have a little fabric bow oh I've just realised of course that is my spine duh so it actually needs to go that way oh you see now that's interesting because by swapping it over that way I now feel very much happier how odd and then maybe our little pink bow at the top let's try that let's rip that off and see how we feel about that so everybody okay <clears throat> manage to get some crafting time in still heavily into family celebrations I think whatever you're doing as long as you're happy it really doesn't matter I'm going to do that um, and I'm just wondering if I now want to add a little bit of that there no I'm happy with that I'm going to stop there I'm just now going to look at my tickets and I think I'm going to put one 
two little tickets just at the bottom there to hide the tearing of that uh, picture from the um, from the book, the book page. Yes, I'm happy with that. I believe. So we're going to lift these off. I'm going to lift this off, lift this off, and we're going to first of all put this down because this seems to be the anchor of our piece. So I'm going to run a line down there like that. And I'm going to put that on there. Like so. Okay. I'm then just going to take my picture. I'm going to get some distress ink up the side. So we just ink around the edges here, like so. Let's get some glue all the way around that. Whoops, through the middle. I see um, there's new ladies joining the Facebook group. So very welcome to you. I look forward to your involvement, seeing any pictures that you are wanting to share with us, works that you've been doing, inspiration you've had from the things that I've shown. Let's make sure we get that hanging both sides, but obviously not so much that it becomes an issue you could obviously if the mood took you stitch around this as well and then you'd have an interesting shape on the other side of your page So just inking up these edges again. And we're going to put him smack in the middle. So I'm going to get him in the middle there like that. Trying to only glue the middle. It's nice to have, you know, that ruffled layer. And then we've got our clock going on top. So again, I'm just going to ink up around the clock. And this is also botanical because it's got roses on it. So basically on this one, I've ended up with uh, a sort of bluey green colour. Not quite teal, but a bluey green colour on the leaves of the pinks, white and pink in the pinks. We've got the blue and white spotty fabric. We've obviously then got the cream, and that's fine swell, it's quite important, isn't it? Um, we've got the cream of the doilies and the background, and the sort of creamy, coffee rose dyed paper and then we've got our pink bow on the top here so I'm just gonna literally run my print stick across the knot help it stay completely again you see to the top to the side and then you can just put a little bit 
get rid of that strand a little bit under the tails okay and then we've got our see now if I can I'm gonna put this ticket just under the edge of this doily like so okay and then this one I'm gonna put on top staggered down a little bit like that okay and then I need a paper clip don't I um, I'm thinking what uh, not a paper clip a safety pin I'm thinking what I might do is run a safety pin through the doily um, yeah through the doily I'm going to steal this one off of this piece of work just because I don't want to not use all of the components that I have mentioned. Oh, and that's stuck down, isn't that annoying? There we go. So all this is, is a safety pin with a bit of lace that's been wrapped around the bottom. I'm gonna put a bit of glue there, stick that to that. Okay, so it's just flapping like that. And then I'm going to take my safety pin and I'm going to pick up, oh, I'm going to go through the paper. I'm going to pick up bits of my napkin. I'm going to do it up and then that will flop down just like that. So do we need, no, that's stuck down beautifully. So there you go, a safety pin doily mixed colors botanicals that is page prompt for day two as always thank you very much for joining me having me in your home i hope you've enjoyed that and that you're going to craft along remember if you do get your photos into the group it's great to share stay safe i'll see you all again very soon bye for now